This is cool. I like this. Yeah. This was me going undercover in an illegal market. No, this isn't Mexico. It's 30 minutes from Houston, Texas. Did you know there's a place outside of Houston that's been called a giant illegal alien compound? It's true. It's called Colony Ridge. And they say one day this place could become an entire city. Colony Ridge is a sprawling housing community being marketed to Mexicans. And, well, they got the memo. They're coming here by the thousands. It's very controversial. And it's one of the strangest worlds I've ever visited on my adventures. And here's the thing. Nobody in Houston even knows about it yet. Chicken. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Welcome to Texaco. <laughs> it was about nine in the morning, and I was at a taco stand in Liberty County, Texas. Now, I've had my share of Mexican food up to this point on my Lone Star adventure. I'd been to the food trucks in Austin, had fish tacos by the water. But I did not think I'd be eating in a peculiar place like this that morning outside of Houston. So where in the Texas are we anyways? We're here. We're about 45 minutes away from the fourth biggest metro area in the U.S. We're in Colony Ridge in Liberty County. And technically within the borders of a place called Plum Grove, Texas. Colony Ridge is this vast, unincorporated subdivision carved out of what was once a soggy, forested patch of no man's land. It's not very desirable out here. And that's why all these people are out here. This place has grown so fast that most of the roads I was on hadn't even been mapped out by Google yet. But here's the latest satellite view. You can see just how fast all this is being built. And there is a lot of room to expand. So, why is this place so controversial? I'll tell you as I begin my day at the taco place. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? You're almost done, huh? Yeah. Somebody's fixing up their home. You see a lot of that out here. When I first got to the taco stand that morning, my only real desire was to, well, get some tacos. I had just got to Colony Ridge, and the first road I turned down happened to have this old taco stand in a dirt lot. I was like, well, I better eat, because I don't know when I'll see this again today. <laughs> well, I was sure wrong about that. As I ate, I looked around, and I was like, this place kind of looks like Mexico. Well, that's because almost everyone in here is from Mexico. As soon as I got my tacos, I set out and headed into the woods. Now all over this area, they're ripping out trees and they're turning them into lots. And sure enough, within 10 minutes, I came across a billboard that I had heard so much about. Terrenos Houston. The masterminds behind the development call it Terrenos Houston online. That means Houston land in Spanish. For years, they've been promoting this development to people in Mexico and on social media. Here's our website. It's all in Spanish. In the marketing materials, they say things like, Own land in the USA. Stop renting. No money down. No credit check. Bring your mobile home or build your own home and enjoy a same-day barbecue. <laughs> Welcome to America. But they aren't sold houses. They're sold land, and then it's up to them to build on the land. The latest offer was two adjacent lots for $65,000 with nothing on them. They're promoting this as some too-good-to-be-true utopia in the USA. 
and everyone in Mexico knows about this place. That's where you get your trailer. It's buy your land and then get your trailer for 56.9. Or you get a giant one for 78.9. You gotta hand it to him. It was kind of genius. Somebody saw a bunch of cheap, crummy land outside of Houston and thought, you know what? We can get that at a bargain and carve out 50,000 lots and hawk them off to a bunch of Mexicans. Well, there's a bunch of people in this part of Texas who do not like this place here. People have said whoever's building this community is preying on poor migrants. Other people say that they give these migrants hope with cheap housing, but then they're faced with high interest rates, so a lot of these people just lose their homes to foreclosure anyway. And then Colony Ridge buys the place back up and sells it to somebody else. There's a bunch of pissed off Latino families who came here and wound up leaving because of one setback or another. The power's never turned on. The area floods. They just feel duped. This has all been reported on the internet. The New York Post talked to one woman who told him she put down $39,000 on a property only to find out there was a mysterious $7 million lien on the place. What? That's not the American dream. Look at all this land everywhere. They have all these streets that basically just go nowhere. Look at the, it's just going to be this huge, oh, there's a cop actually, state trooper. So some people have a little bit of land, cheap land, put a trailer down, and then hopefully build a house on it. But look at all this land that they're going to be building on out here. So I was driving around and I saw a bunch of people selling stuff. I think I saw 20 yard sales driving around. I stopped at a few to see if I could figure out who these people are and where they came from and how long they've been here. But hardly anyone spoke English. All right, this lady has a garage sale. I'm gonna see if I can communicate with her. You live here, yes? Uh, no entiendo mucho el inglés. Okay. Muy poquito. Poquito? No. Poquito? Okay. <laughs> Tried to ask her how long she's been here and what's going on and, and no inglés. I mean, you got halfway built houses next to trailers. Way out here in the middle of nowhere. Just very odd to see this. We've got people literally just squatting out here in the middle of the Texas shrub land, farm, marsh, whatever this is. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what is happening? This does not feel like just outside of Houston, Texas. Some people are calling this the largest illegal immigrant settlement in the nation. And it's getting bigger every day. Right now they think there's 50 to 75,000 people out in this part of Texas. But no one really knows. And there's room for 200,000. Yeah, 
News media is speculating this place could become that big. The company says they're selling 250 new lots a week. My, my, my. And no one knows exactly who these people are. It's assumed that most of these people are immigrants straight across the border. Some have speculated that there's drug cartels living in here. Well, the governor of Florida took notice, and he called the state of Texas out for allowing this. On Twitter, he wrote, How have we gotten to a point in this country where we're permitting and facilitating sprawling developments to house thousands of illegal immigrants who have broken our nation's laws? Our national sovereignty is at stake. Damn. Just down the road, there was another garage sale. I did my best innocent gringo thing to no avail. It's okay. Do you have shirt like shirts? Like long sleeve cowboy vaquero shirts? Vaquero? Yeah. No, like no. cowboy with the button, no? No. Do you, got, do you guys live here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Su casa? Yeah. Quantos? Yeah. Quantos años? Three years. Three years? Yeah. Okay. Do you like it here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's good. It's good? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's yeah. hot. It's not so hot. Yeah. It's beautiful, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Don't they, uh, where did you guys, where did you guys move from Mexico? Yes. Oh, okay. Can see you that. Este, resta. Acapulco. Acapulco? Ooh, Pero no good. Acapulco finished. <laughs> Why is it finished? The, the bracan, the water. Oh, the water's no good? No, este. La house. Oh. Toda la oh. Aquí. Okay. okay. Some people have started to call this place a colonia. That's what they call dilapidated communities that are down by the Mexico border, where the new arrivals from Mexico buy cheap land and try to make a go of it. I did a whole other video just on the Colonias. There's very little police presence here right now. One guy wrote a book about the border crisis. And in the book, he said that there's cartels that have invested in this place. And they set up safe houses for human and drug smuggling operations. <laughs> That's scary. The Texas governor, Greg Abbott, says he's concerned about Colony Ridge. And the Texas lieutenant governor says he's shocked about what's happening here. He said, we can't have entire cities of people who are here illegally, basically no law enforcement. And in some cases, I'm told no running water. It's a very dangerous place to be. This is not what America was built on. This massive complex of people here illegally creating their own city north of Houston. It's just unacceptable. Crime is up. Arrests are up in here. They're finding dead bodies out here. This place is growing so fast, it's putting a strain on the services in the area. Like the firefighters and cops cannot keep up. The county's been overwhelmed with calls about substandard housing. The roads are falling apart because of all the new traffic. The schools are bursting with kids who don't speak English. There's been reports of tens of thousands of gallons of wastewater and sewage contaminating the area. God. This is some of the stuff people are complaining about. I mean, look at that. These filthy, stinky water pits out here. One day, we're all gonna live like this. That's our agenda. Whose agenda? You don't know about the conspiracy to take over the world and make us all paupers? Ah, oh, yes, the agenda. I think I've seen that on Facebook a few times before, Mappy. But if they get rid of all of us, then who's going to work for them? I haven't figured that out yet. That's how it is out here. You just kind of make a go of it. It's pretty random out here. It's like the Wild West. Some places have no water or electricity. And clearly, there's a lot of people living in trailers. And some houses are completely finished. And look like something you'd see in a normal housing development. Like this, right here. These people are clearly further ahead than others out here. 
There's entire streets where somebody's put up a nice house and a yard and everything. I wonder what the difference was from these people and the ones with the trailers or bare land. Did these people have more money? Were they further along? Are they even Mexicans? Do you have any hats for sale? What? Yeah. No. Do you speak English? Yeah. Okay. And then I finally found somebody who lives here that I could communicate with. So I pulled over. Okay, because a lot of people here are from Mexico, right? Well, most of the people are from Mexico, El Salvador, Honduras. Um, you can see people, different kind of cars. Why, why do they like to come here? To be honest, I like the peace. Like right now, you see how peace it is? Yes. I can fall asleep right now. I'm a like that baby, look. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. It's so peaceful, so quiet, so clean. Yeah. That's the thing that I like to wear here. That's Sulema. She lives in a beat up trailer in the middle of what used to be forest and farmland. She's only been here nine months now. And she said this place is blown up all around her. You know, people watch the TV, there were a lot of promotions there, they were cheaper. Like just getting your proper land for. $50 a month. The one who started like 10 years ago, because I got mine 10 years ago. Yeah. They say in the TV, you with $50 a month, you already have your property. Sulem is one of tens of thousands of newly arrived Hispanics that came out here just trying to figure it out. And despite all the setbacks, I think a lot of them are just happy to be here. They're getting loans that they normally wouldn't be able to get. And they're getting a house when so many Americans can't afford a house. Some of the people that come here want jobs. Some want safety. Some just want good leadership. Although, I don't know if you can call anyone in charge here a good leader anymore. But I think I know how they'll vote. Look at all the home signs everywhere. There you go, they're marketing to Hispanics. Free public school. I'm telling you, this place is blown up. There's promotions all over this development. Then you drive around and you see these handwritten signs for land and property. I don't know who's selling the land and if it's even legit out here. It's like the Wild West. So you got for rent, you got. Buy your own land from a hundred dollars square foot call. It's just putting homes in everywhere. If you ain't got a home, you got a trailer. But you can see the extent of this place, what it's gonna be one day. Incredible. And this is just one little teeny part. There's construction going on everywhere here. I mean, this place is booming. Plopping down. They got some land. Just put a trailer down and try to build around it. His address Tortuga Circle. There's another one. 20527 Tortuga Circle. And you have these dirt roads. One day that's gonna all be cleared and then there'll be trailers on it. 200, 250,000 people are gonna live out here. Now I saw this all over when I was here. 
There were a lot of places that were maybe legal, maybe not, that were selling food and booze and clothes. In the afternoon, I came across that market I showed you earlier. Now, this was when things started to get interesting. At this point, people were like, who is this gringo driving around with a camera? I think they thought I was Border Patrol or some kind of county inspector. So they let me take pictures when I went in here. Uh, this is cool. I like this. Yeah. Ooh. The whole thing looked like it had been thrown together in an afternoon. A little underground market on the side of the road. Then a block away, I drove past a makeshift bar that somebody had on their dirt lot. I was like, what is going on here? People are just building shanty shacks, hawking $5 cervezas. A stranger in my own land. If I were a border agent, no one would get into the USA. Well, no one knows if these people are illegal or not, Mappy. Some of them might be Mexican-Americans. That's the point. We don't know. But I do know Mexico is taking Texas back. Mappy, you can't say that on YouTube. There were many, many, many places to get Mexican food out here. Now, I don't know if they were legit or not, but it all smelled wonderful. There's more taco stands here than I've ever seen. They even had them in the Huachataria parking lots. Just piecing together house bit by bit. Just put a house down where you can. They bought that lot and just threw a house down and hoping to get a permanent house one day. If they don't get foreclosed on. It is like this up and down entire area. Kind of a mix of, you got new houses like this. that are kind of up and coming. And then you got trailers on the other side of the street we've got all these lots just like this they probably sold that to somebody or they're going too soon and then there'll be a trailer on that all over are sounds of construction and mexican music down this dirt road. Probably one day be a street. There'll be some trailers on it, undoubtedly. This is all so new. I saw dudes handing out AT&T internet service cards. I saw lots of people burning their trash. So I didn't think there was even trash service here until I saw the trash man drive by. There he goes. There's the trash service. Some guy. I don't have no problem with nobody. I don't hear no music loud. Not bad. 
bambam like they say. <laughs> And she basically said that a lot of people are coming up here because it's quiet and it's cheap and they're all coming up, not just Mexico, but all the south of the border countries. And she is frustrated because she's not allowed to do what she wants on her own property. And she's like, when I first came here, there was nobody out here and now there's trailers everywhere. I get you, Sulema. I get it. the new generation of homesteaders. Back in the late 1800s, our nation was founded on land grabs. Just stake a claim in the wide open USA and you can make a life for yourself out there. Say what you want about what I've just showed you, but this is exactly how our forefathers made a go of it here. They came to the country as immigrants and went west. It's just the same thing, except now they're heading north. Newly arrived Latinos haven't had an easy pathway to buy a home in the U.S., especially the migrants who just got here. But this could change everything. And all of this is just a half hour outside the fourth biggest city in the country. The bigger question is, is this the future of the United States? You can look at this how you want to. I'm not saying any of this is bad, but it sure is controversial. And it sure is strange. They say for every one white person that moves to Texas, 11 Hispanics come. It's pretty clear the demographics of our country are changing. I don't think a lot of people care what race or what country people come from. But the way this community is going down right under our noses showed me how little I actually know about our country's future. And that troubled me. Are you looking to move and need advice? I do consulting, that's right. I'll sit down and talk about where the next perfect place for you and your family should be. I do it all the time. Together, let's find you a new home that's safe and checks all your boxes. And I can also help you find your new house too. Email me and I'll work with you I'm not just helping you figure out where to move, but I can help you find your perfect home too. That's right. I know awesome, reliable agents all over the country, and I'd love to connect you to somebody who can help you search for that perfect home. Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great. You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production.